Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, especially for you. This is one of the more important months that is going to take place. In fact, I do think when you look back at the end of the year, at the year that transpired, it will be August that in some way does stand out to you. It will reveal something honest to you about yourself. And it may very well be characterized by a sense of frustration and also impatience. Your own reactions may surprise you, but within them there is some truth. In fact, as the month begins, that truly is the key word. It is truthful, it is honest, and most importantly, about you. We are going to have a full moon in your sign. Normally you get one full moon per sign per year, and this is yours. Now what is especially important about this full moon is that it is setting up what astrologers call a T-square with your ruling planet Uranus. This is a larger configuration of tension, frustration, motivation, and the only way to resolve it is through action. In fact, it may be at this time that you may find yourself behaving in ways that are unexpected even to you. Full moons represent truth. They are an emotional truth, some clarity about yourself that you are ready to embrace. With Uranus there, this clarity comes on very quickly, perhaps even suddenly as well, but it gives you just the insight you need to change a key part of your circumstances. Now, ultimately, that will absolutely be to your advantage, but at least for now, and at least with this sky, it represents a moment where you are being asked to be stark and to be real. This energy is unexpected. It is, we could say, unpredictable as well. And it is very quick moving. And the more it is that maybe you haven't wanted to look at a particular circumstance very close to you, the more surprising this energy may be. But if it is that you're willing to engage this time with an open heart and an open spirit, well, this may be a time when, as you navigate it, you find a sense of renewed perspective as you reconnect to what is true for you. Now, when we have such important energy in your sign, it speaks to what matters to you most, what matters to you first, and what is near and dear to your heart. This is about you, your identity, who you know yourself to be, and you may surprise yourself most of all. Now, it may be that you surprise yourself by the realization that you have been going down a path or behaving in a way that is not who you know yourself to be. That may be the wake-up call. But for other Aquarians out there, the wake-up call is going to ask you not so much to consider what you have been doing, but what it is that you no longer want to be doing, and also what it is that you'd rather be doing instead. This can be a turning point for you, and it is a turning point that ultimately will free you to be more yourself. And that is ultimately, for any Aquarian out there, the way to greater peace. Now it is as we navigate to the middle of the month that we are going to have a new moon in your opposite sign. This is a very different energy from the full moon, whereas the full moon is one that is uh, tense, it has its share of frustration. This new moon is very different. It is happening hand in hand with Mercury. That brings with it new ideas, new conversations, new insights, but it is also speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. Now, I'm very encouraged by this. Throughout the month, Mars will be in shadow, going retrograde next month. While Mars is in shadow, is going to be making some tense connections, characterizing connections with other power players in the sky, big power players at that. Now, I spoke all about that in the Mars Retrograde Special Horoscope. I will link to it in the description below. But the key to remember here is that as Mars connects with this new moon, it is as if the action that we have been taking and that you have been taking finds a payoff of some kind. Now, when it is your opposite sign, it brings another person into view. 
this is a new person coming into view because it is a new moon after all, so new people may show up, but it may also be a fresh new chapter. Many of you out there are going to experience this in the context of business partnerships and professional alliances. It may be that you find yourself in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, and it makes all the difference. It may be that a key conversation with someone you have an alliance with allows for a brand new and empowered understanding. But a lot of Aquarians out there are also going to experience this energy in the context of love. And it is a huge month for you in the context of love, not only because of the new moon, which is one of the more fortunate turns where it comes to alliances with others, but also that full moon. That full moon is going to get you honest in your heart of hearts as to where it is that you are. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, it is gonna be at that full moon that you are looking at all of your emotions, all of the things that you are carrying, and it may very well be a cleansing experience. By the time we navigate mid-month, that new moon does say that there is going to be somebody there to help you further understand where you are in love and why with this particular new moon, it does look like this person in some way serves as a wake up call being especially enlivening. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that this moon and this full moon for that matter is going to help you tremendously. On the one hand, the full moon in your sign is going to get you honest about how it is that you feel about this person, if it's working or it isn't. This is a turning point. This is all or nothing kind of energy. And in the honesty, you will find yourself on the other side, knowing whether or not that new moon represents someone brand new or a further understanding with this person. But keep this in mind, even if it is that you are just getting to know somebody, that new moon in the middle of the month can bring somebody brand new. So whether or not it works out with them or whether it is that you have mixed feelings and you're just going along, it is in the middle of the month that a genuine understanding can be had. Either it'll feel as if you and this person have a new understanding and are moving towards something more committed or someone brand new could come in. For those of you who are in an established bond, well look, a lot of the focus is on you early in the month. If there are any matters that haven't been working for you, any frustration that's been happening, whether it's just in your life, which is possible, or if it is something within the established bond, all of that is gonna come out at the full moon to be looked at, to be addressed, to be healed. By the time we get to the middle of the month, it is gonna be a sense of fresh energy, a fresh new chapter for you and your partner. Now this energy can also speak to some good news where it comes to what's happening in your partner's life, perhaps some sense of a new opportunity for them that brings happiness to you both. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's so much here, but I am going to say, and I know this is hard to believe, that full moon in your sign, it is a moment of truth. I do think that for many Aquarians out there, life doesn't have enough surprises. And if that's the case for you, this full moon is going to be a surprise a minute. It is going to show you something about where you are, about who you are, who you've known yourself to be and where it is now that you are ready to change, where it is that you have not stayed true to or connected to some truth about yourself. This is going to be the wake up call that brings you back into alignment. But for others still, this is going to represent a big change and a willingness and a readiness to go in a new direction. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.